in this video we will see how to use email to leads or email parser so email to leads is a very powerful integration where whenever you get any email in lead format you can do a mapping to your crm and that lead will automatically or that email will get automatically created as a lead this is a very powerful integration because if you are integrating multiple landing pages or, or multiple third party websites most of these websites will normally send a email about the new lead submitted so what you can do is you can connect that you can forward that email to your crm inbox and you can set some rules then automatically the system will create a lead and from there you can generate whatsapp notification or any workflow alerts as per your need so in this video we will take step by step we will show you how to uh, set up the email how to forward and how to configure and how to uh, integrate the whole setup we will see in this video first we will see where to get the email inbox id so basically creatio whenever you have a crm account with creatio you will get one unique email inbox id or email id we call which is a creatio's inbox id this id is unique for your account this you have to take and then whenever you send any mail to this inbox we will write some rules we will pass that mail and we will create a lead for you this is how the whole technology works so first we will see where to get this inbox so if you go to the creatio crm application so as administrator if you log in you can go to integration in the settings here there is a email parser menu there you can pick any of these lead source so let's say we are taking a website this is where you see this inbox this is called inbox id so this is always common this is unique for your company so this mail id you need to copy this is the first step okay so once you have copied this now let's say you get emails from some landing pages so whenever a customer submits a lead in your landing page the email alert is triggered so that email we will take an example of gmail id so it comes to your company's gmail id so how do you write a forward rule so this particular lead email alone will get forwarded to the creatio's inbox and how the lead will get created we will see now so if you go to your gmail id so i'm taking an example of google lead here so i'm i'm just searching for all the google leads that comes to my gmail like this so in the search panel i'll put either a subject line or any anything unique specific for your lead that we will put it here then you create a filter here here there is a option called apply the filter you can create a new label or already i have created a label so i'll update this label then you will have to click here and then you will have to choose the forwarding rule so uh, i'll choose the new forwarding and here you need to have something called add a forwarding address so already we have copied the email inbox id from this place right so that i am pasting it here and i will press proceed so a confirmation code will go to this particular inbox this is a security provision from the gmail side so now the confirmation code will come to creatio's inbox from there you have to copy paste and you need to do a verification so this will take around 1 minute time so because it will be scheduled and it will be processed in the creatio side so once that is received there then you can copy paste and do a verification then once the verification is done then you have to link the filter and enable a forwarding on that forwarding uh, once it happens automatically the lead will get created so how, where, how to find whether the email has come to creatio inbox this is the place so when you refresh here whatever email uh, is created there that email will automatically come and get forwarded and it will come to this place so this is the first step now let's see the other steps so we have seen how to do a forwarding once that uh, very big comes 
I will. Okay. So now if you see here, so it's a raw mail, but this is the verification code, right? So we'll copy the verification code. We put it here. So delete the last space and press verify. That's it. Now this is verified and here the ratio email inbox ID is available for forward. So now let's double check. Now we'll go to inbox. Sorry. Okay. So we'll just double check now. So we'll go to the inbox. We'll put subject as lead. And uh, we'll see all the messages are clearly coming. And we'll press filter. We'll do here. Now we'll just double check. Ah, okay. So we are forwarding to this particular ID. And then we are putting create filter. That's it. So now what we have done technically is we are filtering all the lead email alone. Out of thousands of mails, just the lead emails alone we are filtering. And then we have created a filter and we are just forwarding to Creatures inbox. Now when a customer gives an inquiry and he gives some data here and when he presses save, now this particular landing page form will generate an email and that email will come and land here. If you see here, the new email will come and land here. See it has come here on E7 and it is showing us all the customer details are coming here. So this particular email if you go to in, uh, inbound email see here the email has come here. If you see here see this is the email along with the location all the details are coming here and if you this has come and this particular email which has come and uh, which is available in this inbox now we have mapped this particular job of mapping that email to email parser that our technical support team will do so you you don't need to do that in this case now this is been mapped as a website lead so tomorrow if you want to add any new source our team will do this one time uh, linking of that email to this parser this is uh, done by the back end or the support team. All you can do is just enable disable the source but uh, linking it will be done from our back end. Now if you go to lead, if you go to recently created lead, so that particular thing will come and appear as a lead here. So there is a website lead that has come which comes into the system. So this is how the whole lead automation process goes. So if you want to debug or if you want to see whether lead has come or, uh, to CRM, you, all you have to do is go to the email parser, go to inbound emails and just do a refresh. So once a lead comes here, then only the lead will get created to the, created in the lead screen. So these are all the four step process. The first step is we have seen how to copy the Creatio CRM email inbox. Then how to forward the Gmail. We have seen how to create a filter, how to confirm the forwarding rule. Then we have also seen how to verify the email logs. And then finally this is done by the backend team. Once that is done, we have seen how the lead comes into the system. Thank you.